So now I'm going to talk about shooting uh, photographs on public versus private property. Okay, so what's the big difference? Well, if you're on public property, you can take photos of just about anyone or anything. All right, now um, a good rule though is with kids, you should get the parents or their guardians permission. Um, taking photos of kids is a very, very touchy subject and you don't want to come across as being a perv or something, okay? So, um, it's just a good rule of thumb if, you know, you see a cute kid, you're at a farmer's market or the park and you're practicing taking photos and, you, you know, a kid's running around, it's going to be a good idea to ask the parents. Um, uh, they might say no. In a lot of situations, they probably will. So if you're practicing, um, you know, practice on the kids in your life. Do you have kids of your own, nieces, nephews, cousins, whatever? Uh, it's better if you're going to practice taking photos of, ki of kids to take photos of kids that you know. And because the parents already know you and they're going to trust that you're not doing something uh, bad with their photos, okay? So, uh, but besides that, now, like I said, if you're in public property, you can take photos and people can take photos of you. That's just the nature of the game, okay? Um, that's why we can do things like uh, record police. When the police are working, um, you can take photos of what's going on. Now, the big issue is as long as you're not getting in their way of them doing their job, all right? Um, and there's a very fine line. For instance, um, one time there was a car that um, hit another car across the street from my house and flipped over onto the neighbor's front yard. So I went over there to take some photos. Now, as long as I was standing on the sidewalk, which is public property, I'm fine. Um, I was standing far enough away um, that I wasn't in the way of the police officers. Now, if I had stepped to the left, onto the front yard of my neighbor's house, they could have told me to stop shooting photos. And I would have had to, okay? It's their private property then. Um, the same thing goes for places that we feel might be public, but actually are private. A really good example in Fresno is River Park. River Park is private property. It is owned by a company. So um, if I go over there and I have tried to take photos of the Edwards Marquee before, beautiful and lit up and everything, and I want to take it at night, and I want to use my tripod so I could do long exposures and play with that kind of stuff. Well, if you try to go over there and you start trying to set up a, um, your tripod, security is going to come and stop you. They do not allow photography, professional photography, on their private property. Same thing if somebody wants portraiture done there. I had a friend who was doing um, a portrait job with a client. Client loved hanging out at River Park and loved shopping, so she wanted to have her photo taken there. Well, they got a couple snaps in and there came security. Um, they do have, you can apply for a permit to shoot on their property from the security office. Um, now, if you just pull out your phone and take a photo, very likely that they are not going to bother you. You're just a person, you know, trying to you know, capture your experience, share it on social media. That's all good for them. But if you um, have, if you look like you're a professional, <laughs> they're going to stop you. Okay. So here is a famous instance. Well, not, I don't know how famous. It was going around social media a couple years ago. Let's watch this video. Information now on a woman accused of attacking a teenager who was flying a drone over a popular shoreline beach. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Robert Goulston was in court for today's developments. You're so funny. It turned into a national story. This cell phone video taken by 17-year-old Austin Howitt captured the scuffle he had with 23-year-old Andrea Mears. Police say she assaulted him because he was flying his drone-like helicopter over the beach at popular Hammonasset State Park. You should be taking pictures of people on the beach. Do you want to stop assaulting me? Mears was in court today with her father and friend. She would not talk outside after her attorney worked on a deal inside to get her into an accelerated rehabilitation program. The victim in the case telling us on the phone today, that seems like a slap on the wrist and that if the tables were turned and he hit her, he would be facing a much stiffer penalty. He will... Okay, so that's all good points. Um, okay, so the story is that 
This kid got a drone, he was excited, went out to the beach and started taking some drone photos. Um, this woman saw him and thought he was doing something um, illegal, thought that he was, you know, up to no good taking photos of, of random people and got mad and began assaulting him and at one point um, even tried to smash his laptop. Okay, so were they on a pub in public property? Uh, yes, it was a public space. That particular beach is a public space. There are some beaches that are private. Private beaches do exist, but that beach is public. So therefore, he was fine at every right to shoot photos there. Um, so they went to court, and now she's going through a program. And like he said, if it was the other way around, if he was a woman and she was a man, and it was the other way around, he feels like the sentence would have been a lot different. Who knows? So, um, <laughs> it could be very uh, touchy subject. Um, people don't necessarily like getting their photos taken without their permission. But like I said, if you're on public property, that's that. I mean, that is what street photography is all about. We talked about street photography last week. Taking photos of life as it is out in the crazy bustle and busyness of life. Well, that's what it is. Um, now, I believe in France, um, they're starting to do laws against, basically against street photography, against photography in public spaces, which is pretty ironic because one of the most um, famous street photographers of all time, Henri Cartier-Bresson, is French. So, who knows? Um, now, with the photographing kids thing, another point I want to make is this California Senate Bill 606 which was passed a couple years ago, I believe, and it was in response to paparazzi. It was in response to um, celebrities and their kids. You know, celebrities have photographers chasing them all the time to get photos, but they felt that it was harming their kids to be harassed this way. So um, California went, a went ahead and the Senate voted on it, and it is indeed now illegal to photograph celebrities kids um, as harassment so there's this whole all the text of the law is right here and you can get into the nitty-gritty of what exactly all that means but uh, like I said before it's probably best bet don't photograph a kid unless you have the parents consent